Hi there, this is Dave, and welcome back to Arafel. <laughs> so yeah, what happened here? <laughs> well, we just had a huge battle with the vampire, and we defeated him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we uh, we took quite the beating. But yeah, let's move on. I'm, I just noticed this is probably the way to go. Oh, he opened his eyes. He's not dead. Not bad, girl. Not bad at all. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so let's keep going here. So, this is pretty cool. Oh. Well, that's an elven shrine if I ever saw one. Go on, girl. You're the one with the ring. It's another one of these shrines, like the one I saw where I found Dian's ring. As Lita touches Dian's ring to the shrine, the air crackles with magical energy. When it fades, Lita can somehow sense that the magic in her artifact of power has been activated. Quiet, I think I heard something. Something is... <gasps> no! Sarai Kasu! Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Oh, man! I really enjoyed her, uh... <laughs> Greetings, Lita! You have done well to come this far. You! Lita, please try to stay calm. Calm? Calm? I just shot arrows into giant eyeballs! I am pissed off right now! And now, Sarai Kesu is a statue too! You better tell me what the abyss is going on here, and you better do it fast. I understand, child. There is much that is being asked of you. The world is ending, Lita. I told you before that Arafel is dying, and my people along with it. It is our fault this is happening. The Stone Curse is an invention of the Elves. We cast it upon ourselves after the Battle of Eldrinor, where our last castle fell to the vampires. We turned ourselves to stone so that we might survive. The curse was invoked with the six artifacts of power, Dian's Ring among them. The artifacts contained the magic to cast the stone curse, to spread it across Arafel. In time, every sentient being would either be turned to stone or be infected with vampirism. <laughs> the vampires would starve. When they were, were weakened, the curse would be broken, and all of us would be revived. We did not, and do not, expect this will succeed. But we are the guardians of Arafel, and the Sunstone cannot be let into the wrong hands. Even at the cost of all life on Arafel. It was you. You're the one that cursed my village, aren't you? Lita, please, there was no other way. None of this had to happen. It's all because of you. Lita, the elves are... were the custodians of the magic that keeps Arafel floating in the sky. If the vampires destroyed us, they would gain control of Arafel's source of power and life, the Sunstone. We sealed it away thousands of years ago. The Sunstone relies on the energy of the sun, but it has been hidden in darkness. The artifacts of power can break the stone curse so that my people may release the Sunstone and preserve all of Arafel. So what? Why do I have to do this? Take your stupid ring back and fix it yourself. With that I could, child, but this form you see before you is a spiritual projection of my body. I can't interact with the world in this form, and I can speak only to you because you wear an artifact of power. The magic in that ring has bound itself to you, Lita. It will remain in your possession until your death. You are, as of this moment, the only person who can save us. Why would anyone make a ring like that? Because the fate of the Sunstone is too important to let anyone quit. Now turn to your friend. Break the curse. Touch Dian's ring to her. Oh, really? Oh, with that, the curse is broken. That's all there is to it? That's all there is to it. The local effect of the curse has been lifted. Aloria is free. My people are not. For that, you will need to the remaining artifacts of power. There is another here. I will give it to you. Lita has received Arlen's bracelet. <laughs> uh, 
I really don't know what to say to any of this. You don't have to say anything right now, but I have a task for you. One that I hope you will accept. You must find the remaining artifacts of power, in time. But to unlock the way to the Sunstone, I will first need something called Soul Stones. They were a gift by my people to yours, before we turned ourselves to stone. The Soul Stones are kept at Temple Orlean. Retrieve them from the temple, then meet me in the Holy Land. From there, we will continue our plan to save the world. Do you understand what I've said to you? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Good, I'll heal your wounds and take you and your friend away from this forest. Come to the Holy Land where you've acquired the Soul Stones. When you've acquired the Soul Stones, yes. What is going on here? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't impressed with our progress so far. Alderin, Sirawin. It is good to see you again. The girl has a name, you know. She is Lita. How charming. You have asked her to come to the Holy Land? She has friends. I'd like to take her somewhere that our magic will allow us to speak to them. Fair enough. Lita has done well for herself thus far. Continue watching over her. I cannot tell you how wonderful it feels to be free of that prison. We owe Lita our lives. The stone curse is nearly lifted, but there is still too much to do, and little time to do it. The curse on Aloria is broken! Nice! Ugh, where am I? Asari? Asari! Ugh, well I guess I'm going to the Temple Orlean then. Sarai Kesu, are you okay? Hey, <laughs> wake up! Ugh, that's enough yelling out of you, girl. What happened? Asari turned you into stone, but I changed you back, and she says the stone curse is lifted now. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> uh, Asari sent us here. Wonderful. Well, let's go see if the curse really is lifted. The apple orchards should be just to the south. Ah, yes, I've been there, so I know where to go. <laughs> Sweet, wow. Ah, this, uh, this story is getting interesting. Well, it's always been interesting. Hey, look at that. Everybody's... Good. It worked. It really worked. Oh, I can't wait to get back to Eloria. Um, okay. Nice hair, huh? Yeah, you know, uh, you love it. <laughs> um, okay, well, is there anything I need to do here? Uh, let me check um, where we gotta go next. Oh, look at this. Adrian. Lita. Adrian, you're alright. My uh, head feels a little funny. What were we talking about? Something about an elven spirit? It? Well, I... Oh, who cares? I feel like I just woke up from a dream. It's this stupid ring! Everybody turned to stone and Asari came and said the vampires can't eat stone and I have to go to the Holy Land and Adrian! They tore my skirt! I have no idea what you're talking about here. Oh, I guess it's not torn anymore. How did Asari do that? It doesn't matter, you're alright. If you two are quite finished with this little display, I'd rather like to return to Eloria. Who are you? That is a long story and there will be time for it later. Come along, you two. Yeah! Okay, so, whoa. He learned skill reflect and last stand. Oh, wow, we got a lot of 50 to allocate. Uh, so I'll do 10 each. <laughs> uh, 72... Uh, 22... Uh, oh wait, what was... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's just, um... Spread them out like this, and... Let's give another power. There we go. Are you sure? Yes. Cool! So, yeah, <laughs> I guess he leveled up just to catch up with everybody. But yeah, I just decided to return to Elorian, and, uh, yeah, so these people are, um... Not turn to uh, to stone, and by Elorian I mean Eloria. <laughs> ah, look at this! Everybody is alive and well. It's amazing. Oh, is that a side quest down there or main quest? Ha! All right, everything's back to normal now. 
When was anything, uh, not normal? I'm gonna have to tell you later. Lita, Sarai Kasu, it seems you've done it. Doran and Simeon, you're not dead. No, but close to it. I'm happy to see you make it home in one piece, child. It appears that no one has any idea what happened to them. No one aside from your family, anyway. I think it may be best if I s it stayed that way. I still don't know what happened to me. I can't believe my dumb sister saved an entire village of people. Keep talking and you're gonna have bigger problems than being a statue. I have to hand it to you, girl. Frankly, I'd r I rather expected we both end up dead. Needless to say, I am eminently pleased to have been proven wrong. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. Aw, oh, it was nothing, really. What? What about Papa? He's resting back at your home right now. I expect he'll make a full recovery. He wanted to talk with you, actually. Oh, well, let's go. She, yeah, she's quick to run there. Oh, Papa, I'm so glad you're all right. The jury is still out on that one, if you ask me, but Simeon and that strange harpist insists I'll recover. How do you feel? Much better, Lita, now that you're safe at home. Lita, there's something I need to tell you. Everyone, if you'll excuse us. Of course. Ooh. What is it, Papa? I know I'm hard on you sometimes, Lita. And maybe I treat you like you're still a child. You were my firstborn. Before you came along, I wondered how I would ever cope with being a father. I really don't like children, you know. <laughs> Papa! <laughs> <laughs> when I first held you when you were a baby, it wasn't until that moment I realized I'd be a part of your life. It was then that I really understood that you and I were part of the same family, and that we'd be in this together. I just... I wanted you to know that it hasn't changed. We're still in this together. That means a lot to me, Papa. Some fathers get to watch their daughters get married. I get to watch mine kill vampires. You're not a little girl anymore. It's time that I accepted it. I'll always be your little girl. I'm very proud of you, Lita. I was before any of this, and no matter what happens, don't you ever forget that. I won't. Go on. Do what must be done. I'll recover from this. You'll come back home when all of this is through. It will make an abyss of a story to tell your children one day. I love you, Papa. Feel better soon. I just need some sleep. I think. Good luck, my daughter. May the goddess bless you. May she watch over us all. Oh, what a touching moment between a father and a daughter. Ah, everybody, I think we need to talk. The stone curse is broken, but I'm not done with this ring yet. No, I imagine not. Let's start with what that elven spirit said to you while I was turned to stone. Right. Well, in the hunting range, she told me that Arafel is dying, but at Array, she told me why. The elves guarded something she called the Sunstone. She said it was the source of Arafel's power. It's what keeps us in the sky. During their war with the vampires, the elves sealed the Sunstone away in darkness. It's dying, and so is Arafel. If I can find the six artifacts of power, I can break the stone curse on the elves, and they can unseal the sunstone. Asari said I would be I would find the artifacts in time, but there is something she needs me to do first. Asari? She wanted the soul stones, I presume. That's right, how did you know? I have my ways. Regardless, the soul stones are sacred relics kept under guard at Temple Orleon. Their true purpose is unknown, but I believe they are meant to act as a key. Although a key to what, I cannot say. Did Asari tell you why she needed them? Just that they are necessary to get all the artifacts of power. Once I have the soul stones, I'm supposed to meet her in the Holy Land. And it has to be me, too. I can't take this ring off, and I'm the only one that can use its power until I die. Well, this elven spirit of yours is nothing if not cryptic, Lita. Orlean should at least put some distance between us and the vampires, and I've been hoping for a chance to return home. 
At any rate, the vampire lord we defeated at Array said something about a cure. A cure to what? I do not know, but he wanted Lita alive. I don't know what they're up to, but whatever their plan is... Uh, whatever their plan, it's safe to assume we haven't heard the last of them. This really all happened while I was a statue? Abyss if I had just never taken Lita to that ruin. Then the Sunstone, if this is true, would still be locked away and Arafel would still be dying. Of course, that's another part of this tale you slept through, Adrian. We were attacked by someone I believed was a friend, Baramon, a traitor. He is the person who bids you find this ring. From what I know on the topic, I can tell you I believe what Asari said is true. It's not a lie or a trick. I think you should do as she has asked, Lita. The Soul Stones should be your next objective, whatever their intended purpose. Do you intend to follow through with this, Lita? I think Asari was telling me the truth, and if she is, then I think I have to. Let it be settled then. If you are going to Temple Orlean, we and Naloria will support you as best we can. We can gather villagers, perhaps petition Castle Atana for aid. We can raise an army. With respect, I don't think that would be wise just yet, Elder. The villages will be left defen defenseless. An army will attract attention from both friends and enemies, never mind the supply problems and the time it would take to raise it. Furthermore, how would Temple Orlean react to an army at its doorstep, demanding its priceless soul stones? I think we should travel in a small party for the time being and arrive at Orlean as friends would. Perhaps that is so, but I will begin the preparations regardless. If an army is needed, I intend to have one. I'm going with you, Lita. I got us into this mess. The least I can do is help uh, get us out. Thank you, Adrian. I would like to accompany you as well. There is too much at stake to not see this through. I once had influence at Temple Orlean. You may need to, my help getting the Soul Stones. Needless, needless to say, I'm going too. Whatever is truly going on here, I fear we only know the half of it. I'd rather like to know the other half. Oh, Lita, please be careful. I almost lost your father today. I don't want to lose you too. I will, Mom. I promise. To reach Temple Orlean and the Holy Land, you will need access through the Cave of Life. The way has been blocked off by soldiers of Castle Atana. However, by Lady Miranda, I do not know why she has done this. It is pe peculiar. That is the only way to access Dian's gully. What good is there from closing it off? We will need to speak with her, I believe, but Castle Atana has been closed off for to those without an invitation since the king fell ill. Leave that to me. I happen to be acquainted with the Lady Regent currently ruling in his steed. Dare I ask in what capacity? You're not the only person I have a history with, Doran. We'll leave it at that. Now let's go. I will be in the temple if you need me, Lita. May the goddess watch over you. Thank you. I think I'm going to need her. <laughs> Adrian and Doran have joined Lita's party. Whoa, we're a party of four now. Doran is a bard with magic-based skills. He specializes in healing and support, and his whip attacks restore MP. Whoa. Nice. Okay, so, um, yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> let's uh let's go so we need to go to the castle um oh let me uh check uh castle atana so we kind of passed by there earlier when we went to Siramai plains so um let me um yeah let me make my way there and if there's anything on the way i will uh i will uh keep recording <laughs> Oh, just by going through the starway. Aside from Baramon, we don't know who our enemies truly are, or how powerful they might be. It may be wise to spend time gathering coin and experience before heading to speak with Lady Miranda at Castle Atana. I agree with Doran. The last thing we want to do is face off against the goddess knows what while under-equipped and under-prepared.
The Cave of Life, through which the Holy Land can be accessed, is just east of here. It is pre presently guarded by royal soldiers. They block our way, but they are also innocent. I'd rather not become a fugitive by fighting them. When we are ready, and not before, we must speak with Miranda at Castle Atana. Sounds good, let's do this. Okay, so, uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me just fight some enemies, I guess, and, um, we'll be right back. Ah, here we go. Hold it, you. No one enters the castle without an invitation right now. Be on your way. Let me handle this, Lita. Gentlemen. I am Sarai Kisu of Temple Orlean. As it happens, I do have business with Lady Miranda. I would appreciate if you let me pass. Sorry, lady, but unless you've got an appointment. The famous sorceress Sarai Kisu? Surely you've heard of me. The one notorious for losing her temper and blowing things up? Ha, come on. You're the most famous sorceress on Arafel? Yeah, right, and I'm the Queen of Atana. I tell you what. Put a convincing fireball through me, and I'll let you in. Uh, what? <laughs> Challenge accepted? Oh, I can conjure much more than just the fireball. Here, let me show you. What? Really? Are we fighting? I thought we were not supposed to fight them. Oh, no. Okay, well, let's let's do it, I guess. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, let's scout them. Whoa, what? Okay, that's not good. Uh, whoa, they have a lot of HP. I thought I leveled up enough, maybe not. <laughs> uh, okay, revive. I don't know if I'll be able to survive here. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, no, this is not gonna work. Uh, I'm, I'm so dead. Um, okay, uh, last stand, oh yeah, no, that's just taunts, um, I don't know, whirlwind, I guess, uh, elemental burst, ah, uh, no, I'm so dead, <laughs> Yeah, all right, let's just kill me. Kill me now. Okay. Hmm, maybe I've gotten rusty. Yeah, better luck next time, Sarai Kesu Scram. Come, Lita, let's find somewhere to hone our skills before attempting this again. Really, we have to do that? Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to end the episode here. I've played uh, long enough, so... I will do that, and then we'll continue. We'll make it through in the next episode. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.